Good morning, Blue Jays. It's Mrs. Harris with the Library Corner. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope that you're all doing a lot of reading. I know I'm doing a lot of reading, so I hope you are too. Today I have a story for you, and as we read the story today, I want you to be thinking about the setting. Who can remember what the setting is in a story? Good. It's where the story takes place. So I want you to be thinking about the setting of the story and where the story takes place. The story is called Five Minutes Peace. And the story is written by Jill Murphy. Oh my goodness, look at these characters. There's Mama. Five minutes peace. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Messy, messy. I don't think Mom is very happy. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favorite cup, and a saucer a plate of marmalade toast, and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off toward the door. I wonder where she's going with all this. Where are you going with that tray, Mom? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes peace from all of you, said Mrs. Large. That's why. I'm sure there are a lot of moms out there who feel the same way. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs. Large, you can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. Well, you can play downstairs, said Mrs. Large, by yourselves. And keep an eye on that baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Large ran a deep hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bubble bath into the water, plunked on her shower cap and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practicing, said Lester. You told me to. Can I? Please, just for one minute? Go on then, sighed Mrs. Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. Do you think that's very relaxing for Mrs. Large? Hmm. In came Laura. Can I read you a, pa a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard. You like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura said Mrs. Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a 
trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging all of them into the bathwater. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. He wants to be helpful too, doesn't he? Can I see the cartoons in the paper? Asked Laura. Can I have the cake? Asked Lester. Can I get in with you? Asked the little one. Mrs. Large just groaned. They look so happy. Not so much, Mama. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pajamas. Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself off, put on her bathrobe, and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mama? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from all of you, said Mrs. Large. That's why. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came and joined her again. The end. So I guess Mama didn't get her five minutes of peace. But let's talk about the setting. Where did this story take place? That's right. It took place in the large family house. More specifically, in the kitchen and the bathroom. So I want you guys to think about a setting that maybe you would like to have in a story or maybe your favorite place to be. I myself drew a picture of the favorite place that I like to be and you guys know me well so you know what I'm going to draw right? Yeah I drew the picture of the beach because I like to be at the beach. There's my chair all ready for me when we're allowed to go out, my towel, there's the water, there's some seagulls, there's the sunshine, so I just drew a setting that really appealed to me. So what I want you to do is to draw a setting. It can be anything. It could be a, your favorite place, a place that you wish you could be. It could be even an imaginary place because remember, a setting can be an imaginary place as well. And I want you to take a picture of it and post it on your dojo for me to see. And I would really love to look at all of your drawings. So you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye.